What's up guys, it's always Apple Tech here and uh, I know uh, I didn't make a video for 10.3 beta 5 changes well that was because there were no changes in beta 5 nor in beta 4 so I decided not to make a video of this as there are no changes but uh, this is the review after using it for 5 days and uh, you have to agree these are the best betas ever I've used cause uh, these are fluent no matter whatever you open they don't have any issues and uh, so far like I have been using uh, beta since 9.3 actually and uh, from then on these are the best betas I've ever used uh, you can argue with me on this but uh, uh, so far these are the best betas I've ever used these are like the original beta uh, these are like the original softwares it they doesn't feel like they're beta versions and uh, they're so stable uh, no uh, no issues with them but uh, I had one issue with them and uh, I'm really pretty much annoyed with that issue not sure if like I um, it was there since a uh, beta 3 and uh, beta 2 and beta 1 were okay they were unstable though but they didn't have this issue so the issue is uh, my phone's just lying down and uh, I would get a or like the sound for a notification and I'd unlock my device I'd check the whole phone there would be no notification nor in the notification center nor anywhere there should be no notification badge or something just I'm pretty much confused about this and uh, um, it happens usually like uh, whenever I'm like um, my phone hasn't been used for a couple of hours it would just uh, give me that message notification sound but there won't be anything so I'm hoping this gets fixed in the final version this isn't the GM though this is the last version and uh, you guys might ask how I'm so sure it's not the GM that's because you can just have a look at the build number it's so long so the actual GM has a shorter build number and um, it should be 14 E and uh, three dates after that so 14 E and 100 or something uh, but uh, this has 5 2 6 9 A so that's uh, a way to differentiate between the betas and the normal versions and uh, otherwise it has been pretty stable I didn't have any issues there were some issues with Gboard I deleted the app uh, Google keyboard not sure if there were the particular Gboard or if the if 10.3 is not completely supporting it that was that the uh, I would be using my keyboard and the keyboard just would go off and it won't appear until like the next five minutes or something so I had to uh, delete it and uh, I am now using the normal iOS keyboard and uh, that's it too. I know um, this video is a bit short and I'm having some delays with my videos but I have recorded many of them they just need to be edited and uh, otherwise uh, the this is pretty stable no matter uh, these blocks bug has been removed and the many bugs which were removed in 10.3 beta 4 I didn't cover that the message uh, bug was removed two of the matches message bugs were removed and the no doc bug was removed now if you press the home button there will be doc um, and uh, this um, keyboard bug was removed and uh, I still have one issue with my phone and uh, uh, I've told you one of them and uh, the, uh, the one which I'm going to tell you is not actually an issue it's something that uh, actually Apple needs to improve so if you have like a hundred notifications in your notification center and you just swipe down and up randomly uh, at a certain point they would just go away and for five to six seconds and then they would come back so i'm really hoping apple will fix it in the um, like in the final version they're still the we can see another beta we will see another beta but not sure if it will be the gm or not and uh, thank you guys for watching i hope you liked it if you liked it please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you